You guys ever wear the same shirt two days in a row? Well, <laughs> I know, I didn't used to either, but I am today, and this one is from uh, Schooly Love, actually. Hello from Canada, we're at the Gold Stream uh, Nature Park, park, whatever it's called, you know what I'm saying. Um, we're gonna go up to a super cool wooden train trestle, and I think it's about a half an hour walk. Um, also, a little bit t uh, later today, hopefully we'll be getting on the ferry, because uh, it was kind of booked this morning. Uh, also had a very nice night's, nice night's rest, there we go, behind the casino. I think what you do is you go under the uh, highway through the tunnel. Now once you come to the end, there is a path where those people are right up there and that's where we gotta go. And when you get to the end of the trail and you see this uh, waterfall, you will determine and realize they need to turn around. We're back here where we started. Uh, I'm gonna guess we're supposed to go this way instead of that way. So let's go up this sketchy hillside. This doesn't seem like the right way, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of what the map says. Well, this is a bit more comforting. This does look like a legit trail. So let's cross my fingers. Still further along, I feel like this is the right way to go. You'll know you're going the right way when you meet back up with the creek, which turns into the waterfall down below. Also, there's a cool bridge ahead. And by the way, this is called the Gold Mine Trail because up ahead somewhere is a gold mine. Pretty cool, right? Swim my ass off up here. This breeze, it just kicked up. I feel so good. 10 seconds before this, I was bent over, panting like a dog. Guess what? We're here. Look at how awesome it is. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Oh boy. So, this is a real train trestle with real railroad ties. And, uh, this is gonna be really far off the ground. But if I just, wow, this is kind of dizzying, but cool at the same time. If you just look straight ahead, it'll be easier than trying to look down. Although you don't really wanna fall down the cracks. Holy crap, getting sketched out. Oh my gosh. All right, we can do this. We're not gonna fall. This thing is made out of very strong steel. And we can even walk on the, <laughs> the metal tracks. Oh my god. This is freaking me out. <laughs> oh boy. Didn't anticipate this. I know I'm afraid of heights, but holy mackerel. This is, I mean, I'm not even far. That's just the beginning right there. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now uncomfortable <laughs> oh boy Ooh, man Jax you sure you want to come out of here and take everybody with you you look like a giant chicken if you don't cross the thing well I mean it seemed like a good idea before the pictures that look super cool but I didn't anticipate being out here you know having just a little four inch gap seen all the way down Woo! what it can do to your nerves oh man I'm just like thought streaming right now this is, uh, if you're scared of heights, this is um, <clears throat> a challenge. This is my technique. I walked a little bit on the wood, but you know what, it's this very weird depth perception thing happening. Uh, it like kind of throws my brain off 
as you can see, I am further along, almost halfway out. It's just very strange. So if you're if you look down, it's gonna totally trip you out if you're afraid of heights. So I'm trying to look like you know several feet ahead and just to give myself some peace of mind, I'm walking on the metal. <laughs> and go ahead, laugh all you want. This is a challenge for me. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I am thinking rationally. Number one, the bridge is not going to break. Number two, I'm not going to fall. Number three, well, I don't know what number three is. I can't really think because I'm nervous. But, uh, yeah. This is putting my mind at ease. But check out this view. It's amazing. It is so freaking cool. Yeah, definitely not gonna stand on that. Uh, there's a little metal part where you can sit on the side. Although, I'm not condoning that because I wouldn't want anyone to fall off and die uh, because of me. So, I don't know. If you want to be a chicken like me and uh, walk on the metal part. <laughs> uh, this is a, uh, whew, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, this is a major accomplishment for me. So, oh, look, we're over at the side here. What if we stand on it? Oh my God, we actually kind of are. Is it gonna break? No, all right, oh my God. Look at how far down that is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm freaking out, man. This is so high, whoa, <sighs> whew, we got this. Strong like bull. We're back. We're just chilling. I'm sitting down. <laughs> that's that's freaking me out a little bit. Why is the why is the wood corroding like that? Why? What's going on there? By the way, this bridge was made back in 1884, part of something bigger that totally finished in 1886. So there's a fun fact for today. Um, also, Vance Creek, as you may know or not, is completely destroyed. You can't get on there, and this one and quite a few others are just on the uh, across the uh, ferry ride from Washington. So if you guys are itching to get on an old train trestle and you need to scratch your itch, well, this might be a good place for you. I think there's several others a bit north of here, but this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. And I'm still freaking out a little bit. ground also I like the fact that it's misting on my forehead right now but uh, I don't like the fact that I couldn't find my raincoat inside the bus may have left it on the ferry I'm not really sure anyways check it out I made it back uh, by the way logically just for anybody's afraid of heights you're not you can't fall down in between unless you're like super underweight or something and your whole body is like six inches wide you know what I'm saying so uh, yeah you're good especially this keg right here man I'd be like Santa trying trying to slide down the chip the wrong chimney you know what I mean With, like too many presents Whew. so anyways we're back on solid ground uh, there's also something called the gold mine I don't know where that is I don't know if I'm gonna go to it I don't know what to do we're crossing the ferry today down just a couple hundred meters it's a little marker gold mine trail this way it's starting to rain yep I thought to myself before coming on this little hike, hmm, since you can't find your rain jacket, you should probably take that poncho that you have in the top drawer. But no, I didn't want to. I thought to myself, no, it couldn't possibly rain. Well, the rainforest, you won this match. This <clears throat> may or may not be the right place. For some reason it says abandoned copper mine. 
Uh, well, what I'm looking for, everybody, is a gold mine. And this is definitely a mine, but I don't know if it is a gold mine. And we're back. Good news. Uh, I didn't leave my jacket on the ferry. It was just stuck behind my pillow right here for some reason. Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's go to the ferry. I'm exhausted. Uh, I got three hours to kill, so I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but let's go find some Indian food. Oh, by the way, Canada is a place to go for Indian food in North America because, long story short, <clears throat> Because the British Empire and everything like that, they're all kind of connected, and so they have like special, well, easier uh, access to come and to be a citizen here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Some uh, chicken curry, got some naan, rice, chutney, time to eat. There we go, it is unloading time, which means it is almost loading time for me. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm trying to cut my costs along with cutting my calories uh, for the past, well, I don't know, a week? More than a week? It was today. Yeah, for the past week, I've been living off of that $184 trip to Walmart, which was like six gallons of water, a full freezer full of frozen vegetables, and like 12 of those um, lentil soups. Um, oh wait, I also had some of the Campbell's too, so that, yeah. Anyway, so more like, what I'm saying is this, one meal 20 bucks, one shopping spree for a whole week, 80 bucks. Yeah, um, so I'm definitely gonna do that from now on because I like spending less money, it feels good to spend like 200 bucks for travel and food in about a week. I also didn't drive a lot miles, I did one take of gas. So anyways, that's my rant. Okay, you can't see this, but take my word for it. We are at a super rainy uh, rest area uh, in Port Angeles in Washington, America. Hey, America. Um, so this is gonna be home tonight. It was uh, very rainy and uh, very hard to see. Uh, when I was driving, so I figured I'd make the safe call. Just, uh, <laughs> I just, I just happened to see the the rest area, and I was like, okay, passed by the Walmart, and I was like, nah, no Walmart, and it was rest area, okay, rest area, mile down the road. Anyways, thank you for watching. I know your time is uh, valuable, and I appreciate you spending it with me. Uh -huh.